it is a very gloomy afternoon. We're going to spend it together baking the Taylor chai cookies while talking about feeling lost in life. So kind of like a baking therapy session. A little backstory about me. I am currently 26 years old. I'm about to turn 27 in about a month, which is crazy because in my mind I am still like 22, 23. I don't feel 26 turning 27 in a month, okay? I went to law school from when I was 19 until I was, I think I graduated when I was 24. For. Even during law school, you know, a lot of people, they know what they want to do with their life. They want to be a lawyer. They want to be a judge. And I never really knew what I wanted to do. Can you see? Oh my gosh, can you see my salt and pepper? Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I didn't know if I wanted to finish law school because I failed an exam. The first time I was so disheartened. I even have a video on my YouTube because I was so sad afterwards. Then I failed my second exam. This one was even worse because I studied 10 weeks which is just crazy to think about. A friend of mine thankfully talked me out of quitting law school. She was like just finish it and then you at least have your degree and then you can still do whatever you want to do. To this day I'm very happy that I continued law school. I passed um, my exam on a second try and then I passed all of my other exams luckily even though I was super exhausted by the end of law school. Maybe this is gonna be a video one day like my struggles during law school thinking about quitting, why I don't want to be a lawyer and stuff like that. You know that's a whole separate separate topic. I graduated law school and then obviously I didn't know what I wanted to do. So just a very quick background, okay? Becoming a judge here in Austria where I live is not that easy. You have to go through multiple exams. They only select very few people. So this is a very hard demanding process and the same goes for being a lawyer. A lot of law offices work from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and this is not the life I want to live. I would have to go to a lawyer for four years, three years or four years, I'm not sure, and then I have to take the law exam to become an official lawyer and I'm not about that life. I just want to have my job and be done with it, especially because I'm a very creative person. I love doing YouTube. I love doing social media. Honestly, I don't know where I would be if I wasn't doing YouTube. Like YouTube saved me during my darkest times and I am so grateful that I started it and that I'm still doing it. Oh, I need a few more ingredients. By the way, she's taking vanilla extract in the recipe. I only have the bourbon vanilla sugar. I'm just taking the entire package. I don't want to become a lawyer. I don't want to want to become a judge. And other than that, I don't know which job I want to do. I did an internship, which you can do after law school. Like everyone can do an internship after law school in court. This lasted seven months. Well, and even during that time, you know, people keep asking what you're going to do with your life, what job you want to have, if you don't want to become a judge, if you don't want to become a lawyer. And I was always like, I have no clue whatsoever. Finished my internship. I didn't have a job which was very scary so now I have been unemployed all summer and then I took on a job at an insurance company I now did this for one month before I quit basically I quit because I thought I have another job you have to imagine I was so looking forward to having a job having disability again having income after being unemployed for many months being so anxious all the time of not knowing what comes next and then i started at this insurance company i thought i have another job here where i live so i don't have to commute to vienna at the moment i'm figuring things out and still looking for something in my area i don't want to go to vienna again mainly because i have to commute about two and a half hours every day my mental health like just even after one month it was it was pure torture, okay? Now we're back to being unemployed, job searching again. I was thinking about going into retail again, just to have money and figure things out to know what I wanna do with my life, which I thought I would never do again. If you've ever worked in retail, um, you know what I'm talking about. Most of my friends are working or have been working for a while. Like even my younger brother, he's been working ever since he was, I think, 15 or something. So yeah, this is basically my story of why I am feeling very very lost at the moment. Oh my gosh, the dough is getting... Oh, is it supposed to be like that? I measured everything out very professional today, right? If you watch one of my old baking videos, you would see that this was not always the case. So we need half a teaspoon of ba baking powder. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is about half a teaspoon. Let me just quickly finish the dough so that we can talk about how to not feel so lost. <laughs> so we have a quarter of teaspoon of salt. 
Die Stone kam in vegan. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, that I think that's enough. And then we have our chai tea bag. And we're now just gonna, I guess, cut this open. I've never done anything like that before. I always need a video of how the dough should be like when it's done because otherwise I don't know when to stop. I'm not sure about the consistency. This was going so smooth. <laughs> Nothing I hate more when the instructions become unclear. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna form the cookies. I only saw one video where they're doing it, but Taylor wrote down to coat the cookies in sugar. So I think I'm gonna form cookies and then coat them in sugar. Please excuse my baking tray. We had a little accident and ever since then it is absolutely disgusting. I need a new one. Honestly, there's nothing I hate more than not knowing if the dough is at the consistency as it should be. Is it still too soft? I don't know. Okay, I added a little bit more flour and I think the consistency is now better. So we're gonna try and make 12 cookies and I have a little bit of sugar here. Let's talk about how to know what you want to do. If you don't even know what you want to do, like anything, I would start by do you have any interests? Like anything like are you interested in fitness are you maybe interested in medicine i have no idea but do you have any interest is there anything that you like to do i've never made cookies like this okay this is my first time ever this is a premiere so what do you do you make a ball and then you do it i don't know okay I'm just gonna try it. And if you do have an interest, I would highly advise you to <laughs> look if there are any jobs in that field. Now, looking back, I don't know if I would choose law school again. On one hand, obviously, I'm grateful for the experience. I'm grateful that I did it, but I'm definitely interested in other things. And I don't want to practice law for the rest of my life, to be completely honest. I know there are a lot of people saying, well, now you went to law school and now you don't want to use your degree. Honestly, I would rather do something else and be happy for the rest of my life instead of using my degree and being miserable for the rest of my life okay you now wasted maybe like six years for law school but i still have the rest of my life then next i also like to focus on the achievements that you already have in your life i'm pretty sure you have an achievement maybe you made it through school maybe you passed all of your exams whatever it is for me for example i was like i moved out when i was 20 i live on my own or now I live with my boyfriend, but I, I moved out from home. I don't live with my parents, which I don't judge anyone who lives with their parents because you can save a lot of money. But still, for me, it is an achievement because I always wanted to move out. So I'm proud that I have my own apartment because I remember back in the day when I was in high school, I was begging for the opportunity to have my dog. I mean, I didn't know that it was going to be him, but I was begging for having a dog, having my own apartment, just having that life that I have right now. I obviously have a degree. Honestly, I'm someone who's always like, yeah, it's just a law degree. A lot of people are getting it. It's not that hard. And then other people look at me like I'm crazy. And I swear to God, I have too much oil. Taylor, you use that much oil in your recipe. So why is it so oily oh my gosh i definitely had to work on that that i am proud for having that degree because i'm definitely someone who plays down the things that i achieved this is not how you make pretty cookies something that i also think is very important is to not overthink it i'm the queen of overthinking but what i mean with that is do other things instead of sitting and overthinking what you're gonna do with your life because most of my life answers answers come to me when i'm doing something else like going to the gym going on a walk driving you know, when you drive somewhere and suddenly you have an amazing idea or there's some clarity that you didn't have before also something that i like to do is either talk about it with someone or journal it out because sometimes i feel like when you say it out loud to someone you already have the answers that you wanted and sometimes i really like having input from someone else because they might give you a new perspective to the situation to the situation that you didn't have before. I think there's also an art of being okay with not knowing like you don't have your entire life to be figured out when you're 20 or 27 or even 30 or even 40. I think that is the beautiful thing about life that you can always start again. You don't have to have one job for the rest of your life. You don't have to go to university and do that for the rest of your life. There are so many stories 
of even successful people failing multiple times in their life and then becoming successful, finding their success later in life. Even with TikTok, a lot of people sharing um, that they started over with 30, 40, 50. And I think this is so amazing because you can start over at any point point in your life and just know that whatever you want to do next doesn't have to be your forever something that i heard recently is you don't need to know where you're moving or where you're going in life the important thing is that you're moving slow movement is still better than no movement this is also something that i like to focus on more now that i i don't have any stability i have no idea where it's going i like to not be so much in the future which is hard for planning anything but i just try to live each day be in the present moment something that i also really like to think about is it has always worked out right write down all of your situations that you've worried about in the past where you didn't know what's coming next where you didn't know where it's going to go where you didn't know what to do how many times has it worked out i'm pretty sure all of the time because you're still here everything has always worked out they're not very pretty for nine minutes maybe i should put on a timer we need to make the icing okay wow i always like to write down notes before i film a video especially if there's a lot of talking i don't script but i just want to write down the points that i want to talk about and now that my hands were sticky the entire time i couldn't look at my phone so i was just free talking and the funny thing is we actually talked about everything that i wanted to talk about so i put some sugar for the icing into my bowl and then we still need let me just check a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and some milk something that helps me the most i think is knowing that i'm not alone with a situation that's why i wanted to make this video that's why i always wanted to actually start my youtube channel um because i was alone with a lot of things in my life and i didn't really have friends to talk about pretty much anything i always gravitated towards youtube and watching my favorite youtubers and just finding my community online pretty much i just talked actually with two girls that i met during my internship they also don't know what to do with their degree and i also felt so much better after hearing it because i felt like such a failure after quitting my job after only one month not knowing what to do now i honestly don't ever bake anything <laughs> I don't think I'm very good at baking, but maybe this therapy baking is something that should be a series. I don't know. Is it fun to watch? I'm going to see when I'm editing it. Have this small whisk. Actually, I could have done it in a smaller bowl, but I have rather a bigger bowl and have it be way too big than a too small bowl. That this, this is not fun. I feel like lately I had also a little bit of an identity crisis. I don't know. It started when my Eros show got canceled and then I was like, I was going through a lot of emotions then i didn't go to the gym anymore i didn't know if i wanted to go back to the gym my content is a lot of gym content like okay now we're doing our fall baking fun video and i did a um, must watch halloween i like to do a few videos for fun but i do mainly fitness content i was like if i don't go to the gym what am i going to film and i had this full identity crisis of i don't know what i want to do with my life i don't know who i, who I am i know it sounds dramatic i feel like now i'm finding back to myself and i am doing again things that i love i remembered how much i enjoy organizing i hate cleaning but i do enjoy organizing and decluttering did a lot of things around the apartment doing some baking, doing some other things that I also like that I maybe forgot about um, because I was so gym focused for such a long time. So I'm trying to see the good in, in the things. I also found a new way of gratefulness. Like I feel since my shows got canceled and since that whole one month job situation, I am so much more grateful for everything in my life. Like literally, I am so, so grateful for the life that I have. I was also so grateful to go to London. Obviously, like that was a new level of being grateful. I, I feel blessed that I feel more grateful because I feel like back in the day, I was always so stressed. I was always so, I mean, I'm still stressed and worried, but now I have a more gratefulness to small little things in my everyday life, to have my little life, to be able to go grocery shopping, to be able to go to the gym, to, you know, just, just being grateful for small things. This is the color, by the way. Can you see? I'm so scared of spilling it. Can you see that? Can I taste it? Ooh, I mean, it's mainly sugar, but timer's going off.
Why are they so big? Oh my god. Oh, I thought they're gonna be these cute little cookies. I'm not sure if they're done, honestly. Let, let me check on the cookies very quickly and, and deal with my shock moment. Of the cookies are done. Uh, I don't know if you can see how ridiculous, <laughs> how ridiculous tall they are. Oh my gosh. I think they're done. I don't know. It was a little bit more than nine minutes for sure because they were so soft um, after nine minutes. I'm gonna leave them here now let them cool down i'm gonna take my dog on a walk and then i'm gonna be back put on the icing and then we're gonna do a taste test i am back from my walk and the cookies have cooled down this is the result i hope you can see that um, i had to separate them a little bit because they were sticking together they're a little bit bigger than what i expected them to be but i think the recipe was for 12 cookies so i made 12 cookies let's see let's see is it supposed to run down? What did I do wrong? Let's do a taste test. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, they taste amazing. They don't look pretty, um, but they taste, oh my gosh, they taste so good. It was definitely worth it. They are a little bit more on the crunchy side. I think they're supposed to be super soft. I don't know, but I just know that after nine minutes they were too soft to do anything with them. But I don't mind them being crunchy. They taste like Christmas cookies. That was fun making and I'm just happy that they taste good. I hope you enjoyed our little therapy session talking about feeling lost and I hope it also helped you in any way, even if it's by feeling less alone or maybe it helped you in some way to move forward in your life. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and I than that thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye